All right, I wanted to work another problem with friction here for you. So I have a dad pulling his young son along on a sled, and I give you the mass, the son, and the sled here. Um, so pulling him along over snow at constant velocity, constant velocity keywords there, that means acceleration is going to be zero. So as you read any problem, if you read constant velocity, an alarm bell should go off in your heads. Acceleration zero. I give you the coefficient of kinetic friction between the sled and the snow, 0 0.08. I mean, think about it. It's a sled and snow. Now, granted, if it's dry snow that is nice and smooth, right, that's, that's what's going to give you such a low coefficient. If it's wet and it's all jagged, well, that, that's a different story, right? How much force does the dad have to pull with to keep his son moving along? So let's do a free body diagram over here. So I have now we're just dealing with the sled, right? I've got the dad pulling to the right. I'll label that force of pull, right? And back to the left, I have friction. Now notice I made them equal in magnitude because the dad is looking to pull just enough to keep it going along at constant velocity, meaning the acceleration is zero. I have normal force going up and I have force of gravity going down. Now in the past this was one of the problems that you would only deal with the x-axis, but here you're going to have to deal with x and y. And I'll show you why here in a moment. But let's, let's just jump directly to the x-axis. Let's say in the x-axis some of the forces equals ma. And the forces are positive FP, right? That, that's what was going to the right, which I labeled positive, minus whatever is going to the left here, which is force of friction, all right? Because I call it to the left, uh, I call it to the left negative, equals MA. Now, A here is zero because of constant velocity, right? And we're going constant velocity, so acceleration zero. So now I have FP minus force of friction equals zero. That means force of push is going to be exactly equal to force of friction. All I have to do is figure out what friction is. Well, the equation for friction, Fp, equals mu times normal force, right? And I know, I know mu, that's 0 0.08. I just don't know Fn. So where can I get Fn from? The y-axis, right? So in the y-axis, some of the forces, Ma, and now just reading off, I have normal force going in the positive, right? Because I'm just reading from the free body diagram. Normal force going in the positive minus the force of gravity going negative equals ma. The sled isn't flying up in outer space or plunging down to the depth of, depths of the earth. So acceleration here is zero also. All right, so now I have normal force minus the force of gravity is zero times anything. So zero times, you know, if A is zero, zero times M, zero on that entire side. So normal force is going to equal the force of gravity. And since nothing extra is pushing down or pulling up on it, that means normal force here is Mg. So normal force, let's go ahead and plug in some numbers. The mass is the 19 kilogram boy plus my 15 kilogram sled times gravity 9.81. Gives me a normal force equal to 333.5 approximately newtons, which then gets used here in the x-axis to calculate how hard the dad has to pull, right? So now Fp equals 0 0.08 times 333.5. And so FP is going to come out to be just a measly 26, because I have two sig figs, so excuse me, 27 newtons. So, you know, the beauty of the sled, right? You don't have to pull that hard to uh, keep it in motion.